Irom Sharmila completes 15 years of fast. Civil society organizations reaffirm support in her agitation. BJP candidate for Thangwebun, KH Joykishan, and Congress candidate for Thongju, Vijay Kojam file nomination paper. And Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh says Pong Lambi closed following guidelines of Medical Council of India. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime News. I'm Tanshwam Sangeeta with top stories and all the news we're tracking at this hour. Civil society organizations of the state today reaffirm their support to Irom Chanu Shamila as she completes 15 years of fast against Armed Forces Special Pass Act 1958. Irom Chanu Sharmila, also known as the Iron Lady of Manipur, has been on the hunger strike since November 2000, demanding repeal of the Armed Forces Special Pass Act. The youngest daughter of Irom Nanda and Irom Ombi Saki began her fast in protest against the massacre of 10 people in Malom in 2000. Even today, Irom Chanu Sharmila is continuing her fast at Janim Special Watt. Extending support to Irom Shamila's fast, a program was held today jointly by United Clubs, IMC Ward No. 4, Uripok and Uripok Nupi Apun Balub at Nagampan, Laninthau Ising Chaibi. Speaking to Impact News, United Clubs, IMC Ward No. 4 convener, Laikangbam Ongbi Laurembam Lotika said, Sharmila's fast is for the people of the state, so we all should extend our supports to her. Manipurgi social organization Punamak Akoina Honabayaba, Taubayaba Tauri, Adubu, Karigumba, Akoida, Asoiba, Natraga, Akoigi, Honabasida, Yaubangam Dabatak, Ama, Lairam Basu, Yayan, Akoi, Kanada Banate, Adu, Akoi, Hujik, Amuk, Chahitra Manga, Susan Lakpasida, Akoi Kadai, the Kari, Chita Hori, Akoi Nakari, Karamba Forum, the approach Tauraga, Akoi Kolawa, Se, Tahan Sige Hibese, Akoi, Yam Namun, who's a Kanari. Women Action for Development, North East Dialogue Forum and various other civil society organizations expressed displeasure at the Government of India's indifferent attitude towards Irom Chanu Shamila, who completes 15 years fasting against the Armed Forces Special Pass Act. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club, Women Action for Development, North East Dialogue Forum, United NGOs Mission Manipur, Samaritan Resources Centre, People's Platform Secretariat, Village Women Coordinating Committee and Peoples for Human Rights and Climate Change vowed to continue supporting Sharmila in her fight against the Draconian Act. Secretary of Women Action for Development Sobita Mangsatabam said the civil society organizations demand release of Sharmila and repeal of Armed Forces Special Powers Act, punishment for those involved in extrajudicial execution and sexual violence of Thangjam Manurma and fair compensation to victims. Say drang Amapum Parapasequina, I couldn't say drang Amapum Parapasimapu support of women with solidarity, Pibani, the Sang Sitna, human rights, violence and Satara Liba and Possess, Missile Bar, Exe, Masi, Lotokuna, Amit Samilaza, Tumatam, the Tadopa, Adoga, and Possess, Missile Bar, Exe, Lotopa, Extra Judicial Killings, Atta Giba, Mayam, Adoga Sexual Assault, Tau Giba, Kes, Mam Singer, Se, Investigation, Pazana Tauraga, Maralebu Singer, Sidan, the Piba, Hibasiso, Comen of India. UCM Amuko and CCSK jointly organized a public convention, People's Movement for the Common Future of Manipur at Yangoi Ningtho Community Hall, Nambol today. UCM President Elangbam Johnson said, Civil society organizations will hold talk with interlocutor of Naga Peace Accord, Arun Ravi, who is arriving at Imphal tomorrow. Johnson also asserted that people of the state will not remain as a mute spectator if there is any proposal of pan-Naga body or disintegration of Manipur into Nagaland, Kukiland and Maithiland by the government of India. <laughs> Masiki Wamada, Panaga, Body Shemi, Nataka Panaga, Body Shemi Hero, Akwe to Iraq Hogutami. Makuina Ding, Amanbaya, the Marandi, Manipur to I am the Yam. Sahili Sansena, if I push in the Punda Lake in Arakanda, India, Hipasa, Kutin Jalakanda, Manipur to I am the Kuya from Tokte, Aduka, Manipur Manunda, Nagagi administration Nama, Kuki administration Nama, Maitai administration Nama, Hyper Lavi Aroi, Masiso Hector Ragadi, Masiso Kui. Chana 
BJP candidate for the Thamiban Assembly constituency, Kumuk Chamjo Kishan, today filed his no nomination paper at the office of SDO Imphal West, who is a returning officer at Imphal West DC office complex at around 11 this morning. BJP Northeast in charge, Prahlad Singh Patel, accompanied Kumuk Chamjo Kishan for filing his nomination. Prahlad Singh Patel said, BJP will fight the election with the aim to uproot corruption and for development of the state. इतने लंबे समय से सरकार में होने के बाद में विकास नहीं है विकास हमारा मुद्दा होगा और जो भ्रष्टाचार है ये हमारे दो बड़े मुद्दे होंगे और मैं मणिपुर की जनता से इन दोनों क्षेत्र में यही निवेदन करूंगा कि मोदी जी के प्रतिनिधि के रूप में एक भारतीय जनता पार्टी के दोनों विधायकों को पहुंचाइए हम भ्रष्टाचार मुक्त मणिपुर देंगे और मैं विश्वास करता हूं कि ये दो उपचुनाव 2017 के चुनाव का आधारशिला रखेंगे Congress candidate of Thonju Assembly constituency, Bijoy Kojim, to defiled his nomination paper at SDO office forum part, accompanied by Chief Minister Okram Ibubi Singh, Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam, PhD Minister I. Hemo Chandra, and MLA N. Birin. Speaking to media, Chief Minister said, though BJP alleges Congress of indulging in corruption, people of the state know what Congress has done in the last 14 years of its rule very well, and the government will soon release a compilation of works executed by the Congress government. Any job recruitment to the Department of Manipur government are done by MPSC to avoid corruption except third or four grade jobs. Chief Minister also asserted that Congress has nothing to fear even as BJP is bringing central leaders in the election campaign. Development is not going to be able to do it. It is not going to be able to do it. Corruption ki wafam zidi Manipur ki praja sing na hena khanga ni kana na hena corruption tawi ada BJP da hujik lai riba missing se kaya yam na sing ba sing da mano hai di let the people just mohi ki Bihar da tawi se Union Minister mayam sing si polling station amamam da amam station tawra thamal le Prime Minister na noong da this day kudinga matu tawi se masidi hai di ikai ni ngai ni hai di most welcome most welcome la uwa du yeng na ptare tna. Meanwhile, BJP candidate for the Thamiban Assembly constituency, Kumuk Chamjoy Kishan, yesterday targeted the Congress government, even terming the Chief Minister as a dictatorial leader. Addressing a public meeting at Thamiban Hijam Devanlekai at Nongalaima Sanglen, Kumuk Chamjoy Kishan said he was disqualified because he spoke against the state government. He said after Congress failed to win vote in Thamiban, all the development projects were halted by the state government. Congress government na lady but na thongwa ka ta khanga ka lady but thami but lady ba thongwa lam su khawa but na khalak ke na yankai ni pan se tu wala ka thami but se mi am pura mo hoxi thami but na han bo yo hanchi thami but na han bo lamjin mera hoxi thami but na by election da Congress tora tu na thongwa tam da lady but ke na yankai ma pan se tum na jab pura mo chala ka Congress tum na mangan si Congress ki akoi ki dictator or leader Sri Ibu bi na. Union government ke thadar ko pacha maya masay matang matang huran ko ki habit se masay noin lay. Chief Minister Okram Ibu bi Singh today stated that Congress government has never done anything that will hurt the sentiment of various communities living in the state and has never considered communities living in Pauna and Thangal Bazar as outsiders. Speaking at an election campaign held at Dharamshala Thangal Bazar, Chief Minister said. Projects and programs to be taken up in bazaar areas are now halted due to election code of conduct but will soon start after the election and sought people's cooperation. Okram Ibobi Singh also canvassed to vote for Congress candidate in the Thamiban Assembly constituency. Election model code of conduct la aneva. Election model code of conduct la tringeta. Akhoi hana loi na diesel lau re. Akhoi punamak India ki citizen ni Manipur ki citizen ni. Akui puna mak sida puaga sida siga dulu ibu hakteri. Mayam pun memaksin si. Adunak kari gumbam ta. Akui di sida lagi benda secure wajdre, safe wajdre, khotre high besi kari gumbam ta madu madu khanbir ganu. Manipur Pradesh Congress Sevadal today organized a blood donation camp at Congress Bhavan, BT Road, in commemoration with the year-long celebration of 125th birth anniversary of Jawaharlal Nehru. The blood donation camp was inaugurated by Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam. Former Janem's Director, Professor Thokjom Birin and Head of Department of Medicine of Janem's passed away today at his residence in Kaisampad, Kaisamlekai. 
Professor Birin was suffering from cancer. Chief Minister Okram Iwobi Singh paid his condolence to the aggrieved family. Chief Minister Okram Iwobi Singh told media persons that the loss of Professor T. H. Birin, who was a dedicated doctor, is a great loss for all of us. Replying to a query regarding the Pong Lambi issue, Chief Minister said the Pong Lambi was closed following the instructions from the Medical Council of India. The MCI team had instructed that public road cannot pass through campus of Medical Institute. Chief Minister requested the GAC to call off the agitation in view of the patients. Chief Minister also gave assurance that other roads will be repaired soon. <laughs> Mohi Lambi Satoksa Chin Tauber Nungai Taba, Somda Ama, Koigi, all in the area, Dogi, Tawar Aman Laita, Didi Kegido, Adum the Sudum, Laito Oga Lakoyai, Adigi Somda, DC office in Pal Hiskido, Adum the Sudum to Oga Torpoyai. Other than a question of five ten minutes, even Kong is at the walking distance neighbor. Lambi Patre, Kotre, Akoidum, Shamjan the Gay. Genev's director, Professor Lashram Devian Singh, in a press release, informs that a condolence meeting was held today at 11.30 a.m. at the conference hall of Genev's hospital to pay respect to late Professor Thokjom Birian Singh, head of department medicine and former director Genev's. A two-minute silence was also observed for the departed soul. The JAC against the closing of Pong Lambi today closed the main gate of Genev's. The JAC members raised slogans against the authority demanding opening of the Pong Road. The JAC had announced for the public curfew on 26 of October. The protesters informed media persons that they are planning to intensify their agitation until their demands are met by the authorities. <laughs> Masi, Makwegi, emergency Anaba, Masida, Kagumamona, Domina Layang and Bosida, Asiba, Anaba, Mogi Kudong Tibaka, Tolabasu, Madam Masagi Daitani, Akoi Sarkagi Satagi, so hang hang we have a say. See Habida Lagatu, Akoi di, Sanctiliba Kongzing Asidi, Asom Sidi Bapawa, Dom Langdana, Makal Makakayagi, Kongzang say, Hang Ban, Hang Bina Bakidam Takoi, Sansan Nabakoi, Akoi Redi, the same Sargalizari. On the other hand, JNM's director, Professor Lasham Devin, once again appealed to the JSC form against the closure of Pong Lambi to call off the agitation. Speaking to media at his office chamber, Professor Devin said the agitation has caused severe disadvantages to the patients seeking medical help at the hospital. Professor Devin maintained that JNM's authority submitted a memorandum regarding reopening of Pong Lambi when the MCI team visited the Institute for Inspection on the 29th of this month. However, coordinator MCI Dr. Ram Awad Singh Kushwaha rejected the reopening under Minimum Standard Requirement Schedule 1 Clause A 1.1, which mentions that a medical college should be in a unitary campus having room for future expansion. <laughs> Akuigi, Kudong, Tiban and Niba Mayam, Sigi and Virakanda, get a city upon Ba, Haiti, get a lot in Biraga, a Sumova, Canosito Viganu, Atopa, Pagadoba, Pambema, Sivin, Sina Biraga, Akuigi, Ana Lang Jariba, Kuigi, Sabato Zeriba, a city upon the Piviganu, Hiwa Pombasena, Tamzeri. Jenin spokesperson Professor Yang Lem Mohan said there were cases where landscape had to be changed or, or road had to be closed in the expansion of many medical institutes not accepting Jenims. Professor Mohan also maintained that the agitation, which has given immense inconvenience to the staff and the patients, showed that the state is like a lawless state. He patient Law of the land, and governance, and the government, the rule of the government, the rule of the the Manipur Medical Council today organized a one-day discussion program on improving doctors and patients' relations at Manipur Press Club. Former director, All India Radio, Imphal, was the moderator of the program. Doctors affiliated with Manipur Medical Council answered the questions asked by participants from different parts of Manipur. Speaking on the occasion, public prosecutor N.G. Deshkumar said, People should not indulge in mob justice. Instead, 
doctors if found guilty must be punished by law and doctors if not found guilty can file defamation suit against any individual or organization. Indian Medical Association Manipur State President Dr. Kala maintained that if health centers located in different other parts of the state can function smoothly, violent incidents occurring at RIMS and GENIMS can be avoided. RIMS, GENIMS, any labor here, fully developed to Honbyo, subcenter labor, my name is specialist doctor Pangandaba, Kulai Tamdaba, Masidi Government. ยังช่วยอารามแบบนี้เป็นเช่นอย่างอาดิกีโลยดมายกีคนนึงหูจะลับเนี่ยคุยสิเจ้าเป็นเช่นอย่างเจ้าเรียกเรียกโฮสเป
जेएसी की डिमांड से हुए मिसी इसी तरह सीनर बन यो चिंगे से मतिक चाबा मरम प्रमाण ऐकोई कहीं ना पुथोक भी बात होगा मामी चिंग जैसे पुथोक भी बात पुलिस ता चला गया कोई मसी में तो ऐकोई का हाथ तंग जब ऐकोई हाथ जब पुलिस ना मसी थबुक से लोकत भी बाई कोई पामे माँ के इमुंग मनुंग चिंगी इधर लहरी बांगांग चिंग से तो माँ का वजह माँ Mera Hau Chongwa Festive Fair 2015 organized by District Handloom and Textiles Office Imphal East from October 27 at Iboyama Sumangrila Sangren Complex culminated today. Harikon President Longjom Ratan Kumar appealed to improve the economic condition of the state with surplus production of handloom products. Handloom clusters from different districts took part in the seven-day fair. Locals of Langthabal Lep Awang Lekai today stage a sit in protesting against the planting of bomb in public places at Lainangdho Pothiba Harao from Lampak. The sit in was organized by Apun Bamaira Pai Beluk Committee, Langthabal Nambul Mapal, in, protesting, in protest against the recovery of IED weighing around 5 kg in a rice cooker near the house of Hoirom Kriti Chandra of Langthabal Lep Awang Lekai. Speaking to Impact News, Hoirom Ongbi Ibem Cha said she and her husband are leading a normal life. She requested accused persons not to repeat such act in future. Bu ama abju kari no abju kangja de akoi di akoi na kari langi belai akoi di suja ranu amja raga charge bani hingja bani akoi na kana de su langi belai te adu matung de desi gum basi tau biga nu kana na kari gida makta thamja thambiri no abju su cheng dok pira u matung de su amu ana tau biga nu. Spastic Society of Manipur is going to organize a half marathon run on the 15th of November on the theme Run for Inclusion. Addressing media persons today at Manipur Press Club, Secretary of Spastic Society of Manipur, Laisham Tokendra Riki said the objective of organizing the run is to extend support and show solidarity to the cause of disability since society has to remove the physical and attitudinal barriers that has hindered their full participation in the society. He said that the run will start from Kumalam Park and will cover a distance of 21 kilometers in and around Imphal city. Parliamentary Secretary K. Mega Chandra today inaugurated Pukai Food Enterprise, a small scale industry aimed at producing snacks and eatables items. Pukai Food Enterprise is a venture owned by Lashram Rishikanta of Kiam Haibong Lerak under Wangkim Assembly Constituency. Now, some sports news. 35th state level Manipur Masters Athletic Meet concluded today at Kumalna Park Sports Complex Main Stadium. L. Aruna in above 45 years, H. Ibn Pisak in above 50 years, L. Nila Padma in above 55, N. Subadani in above 60 years, A. Tombi in above 65 years, T. H. Kunjarani in above 70 years, and Ayun Tampak Laima in above 80 years won first position in hammer throw on the last day. The meet is organized by Manipur Masters Athletic Association. Manipur won four gold medals in the third Northeast India Cadet Junior and Senior Kickboxing Championship. O Roshni back gold in 22 kg Puppet Girls Light Contact. Malim Ganvi Chanu clinched gold in 44 kg Cadet Girls Light Contact. SH Sagar got gold in 32 kg Cadet Boys Light Contact. And W Robinson back gold in 45 kg Junior Boys Light Contact today. The championship is organized by Kickboxing Association of Manipur under the ages of National Kickboxing Federation, Wako India, and North East Association Kickboxing Organization at the Indoor Stadium Kumalam Park Sports Complex. District Youth Affairs and Sports Office Imphal East is organizing Imphal East District Level Women's Sports Competition under Rajiv Gandhi Kale Abhiyan Scheme from tomorrow at Indoor Stadium Kumalam Park Sports Complex. With that, it's a wrap in this prime time edition. Before we end, a look at the headlines once again. Irong Sharmila completes 15 years of past. Civil society organizations reaffirm support 
in her agitation. BJP candidate for Thangmiban, K.S. Joy Tishan, and Congress candidate for Thongju, Vijoy Koyjam, file nomination papers. And Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh says Ponglambi closed following guidelines of Medical Council of India.